Hello and welcome, this is Jennifer McGuire, and today I have another episode of My Favorite Crafty Things for 2018. Today is actually my favorite non-crafty things. I didn't do a non-crafty video last year, and several people asked if I would this year. And I usually share this video last in the series, but since Christmas is coming up and people might be looking for gift ideas, I thought I would go ahead and share this now, and then I'll return to the crafty series in the next few days. The reason I started doing a non-crafty episode is because I found many of us crafters have similar interests. So some of these things today that I share may be something that you might like too. If you want to see more on these products, I do have them linked below in the YouTube description. I'm not an expert on any of these things, I just happen to really like them. Okay, so let's get started. The first product I wanted to share are these craft pouches from the Inkblot shop. I use these little bags for everything. There are three bags. This is the largest of the bags and it's approximately nine by 11. I like to carry my stitching that I take on the go in here. I like to put coloring things in little paper for my kids to use. They're really handy and super cute. This is one of the smaller ones and I also really like the pattern on this. It's about five inches by seven inches. This is perfect for holding some note cards, envelopes, and a pen. And I can take it with me on the go and write personal messages to people on the inside so they'll be ready to mail later. I also really am enjoying pens from 51 Woodworks Pens. These pens are handmade by a crafter's husband and there are beautiful patterns. These are three of the few that I have. I have a few more than this. I just can't get enough of them. They all write wonderfully and are beautiful. I use them to write my messages inside of cards and also to pay bills. It kind of makes it a little more fun to pay those bills when the pens are so nice. These make great gifts for the holiday season. I'm really impressed by the variety of pens he has, so I'm sure you could find one for just about anyone. Now in 2018, I started collecting enamel pens and I collected a lot. I just think they're fun. I get most of mine from Etsy and one seller that has a quite a few options for card makers is Nutmeg and Arlo. I just think these are cute. They make a great gift and are also fun to collect. And by the way, these are just things I found. Nobody reached out to me to include these in this video. Now, I have been collecting more signs for my craft room and also giving signs as gifts. One of the first companies I found for crafty signs is Honey and Pine. She happens to be a card maker, so she's got a lot of great options for us. She has an Etsy shop and she'll do custom pieces too. Another great place for custom pieces is Encourage Co. My friend Liz happens to own this and she is fantastic. She's actually the one who designed my logo. She'll do any kind of Bible verse, song lyrics, anything you want, and she has some things in her shop that are ready to go to. I have had her do a few different gifts, and I'm always happy with the results. This one happens to be hanging up right outside my craft room. Okay, changing gears completely. This is my favorite charger right now. So you can plug it in the wall, as you can see, charge it up that way, then you can close it up and take it on the go. This is such a great way to charge. I actually have one in my craft room, so if my uh, phone starts to die, I don't have to have it plugged in on the wall. I can just have it on my desk. And I also have one in my purse. Now, two of the products that I recommend more than anything else in 2018 are shoes. The first one are Rothy's shoes. These are the most amazing shoes I've ever worn. They're super cute, come in cute colors and patterns. They're made from recycled bottles. They're washable, you just throw them in the wash. They, you don't have to break them in. They fit right away, they got a little stretch to them. They are the most comfortable shoes I've ever had. The price point is a little higher, but they last and they hold up so well. So if you are looking for comfortable shoes, you can get some that are a little more dressy looking or keep them casual. I definitely recommend Rothy's. They are fantastic. And I keep buying more and more of the fun colors that they come out with. Now, another shoe that I've loved this year and I am so excited about are Allbirds shoes. Now, there are a couple different styles. These happen to be a little bit thicker and I've been wearing them this winter. They also have one that a little, has a little more air to it. 
But this one, what I like about it is I don't have to wear socks with them and they feel like slippers. They are amazing. They come in a bunch of different colors. I only have the gray right now, but I definitely want to get these yellow. Between the Rothies and the Allbirds, I'm set. Those are the most comfortable shoes and I'm very picky when it comes to shoes. Now, speaking of comfort, my favorite sweatshirt, and I wear it all the time when I'm crafting, is the Jockey t Tunic Sweatshirt. It comes in a few different colors, and this is the softest sweatshirt I've ever worn, and it is a great price point, too. My daughter, Audrey, actually is the one who got it first and just raved about it, so I had to buy one, and it is fantastic. It's a little bit longer, so you can wear it with leggings. They actually call it a dress, but it is definitely not a dress. But if you're looking for something cozy while crafting, this is a great one. Speaking of leggings, I highly recommend these leggings from The Loft. They're thicker and really nice quality and have kind of a finished look to them, so they look a little bit nicer than regular leggings. There are a few different patterns. I really like that navy plaid and this black one with tiny white dots. Whenever I wear these, I get a lot of recommendations, and I've recommended them to friends, and they've liked them too. I know Loft has petites, tall, and plus sizes, so hopefully there's a size for just about anyone. I'll be honest, I wear one of these different Loft leggings almost every day. Another thing that I'm really into is necklaces. I feel like if I just throw on a simple necklace with whatever I'm wearing, it kind of jazzes things up and I feel a little bit better. So one that I really have liked lately and gotten a lot of compliments on is this silver necklace from the Bobble Bar. I think it comes in gold and rose gold too. The necklace is actually made up with tiny little discs that catch the light nicely. It looks a little bit fancier, but it really is quite casual in real life. And I've really enjoyed wearing this lately. It just seems to go with just about anything. And the price point on it is really good too. Okay, I feel weird sharing something about cooking in my favorites video since I really don't like to cook, but this programmable slow cooker has saved the day for me many times. I'll be honest, I have three of these that I've bought over the years, and they're worth every penny, and the price point's great too. The reason I have three is that when I'm making one, uh, one pot of chili or soup or a skinny taste recipe, one of my favorite places to get recipes, instead of making one at a time, I do three at a time. And I can save those extra two meals in the freezer for a future time when I don't have time to put anything else together. This really saves a lot of time for us since our kids are in a lot of activities. If you don't have a slow cooker, check this one out. Since it's programmable, you really can control when it starts and stops. I think I only paid like $50 for the slow cooker, and that is just such a bargain, and you save so much money in the long run. Now, if you don't want to cook, there is another option. I recommend DoorDash food delivery. Now, I know DoorDash is not available everywhere, but you can go to their website and type in your zip code and see if they deliver to you. Of course, this is in the U.S., we get a ton of foods that can be delivered through DoorDash. We get Cheesecake Factory, our local chili place, just about anything we could want. Usually the food is the same price as it normally is, and you just pay a tip to the driver. Sometimes there's a little fee added onto the food cost, but not usually. DoorDash has saved us many times when we're in a bind. So next, I wanted to introduce you to my current addiction. This is cinnamon pecan granola cereal. This stuff is delicious. It's low carb. It's gluten free. It's got all this healthy stuff in it. No added sugar. And I'm just fine that a little bowl of this can really hit my sweet tooth. And it's just something nice to snack on while I'm crafting. I just eat it dry and my kids like to also. So sometimes I include it in their lunch. Now, my son made me promise that I would include this peanut butter on my favorites list because it is by far the best peanut butter we've ever had. This is the home plate peanut butter. It's very, very creamy, the creamiest peanut butter ever, and it doesn't have too much junk added into it. So this is what our family reaches for the most. I know that some people are allergic to peanuts. My older girls are, so we only have this when they're not around, but... I'm telling you, this is the best peanut butter out there. 
Changing gears once again, if you haven't seen the Liberty Puzzles, these are the coolest puzzles I've ever seen. My family likes to do puzzles, and my dear friend gave us a Liberty Puzzle this year. We've never gotten one before, but we're hooked. These are actually wood puzzles. They're really thick, like a quarter of an inch thick. And all of the puzzles are these unique shapes. So there are actually some puzzle pieces that are in the shapes of trees or whatever. And it goes along with the theme of the puzzle. So these puzzles have a higher price point, but they're kind of like a keepsake. This is something that you will use for years to come. I bought a bunch of these as gifts for some friends uh, for the holiday season. I'm telling you, this is one of the best gifts we've ever gotten as a family. They have many different patterns, many different themes to the puzzles. You got to check them out. Now, my next recommendation is actually a gift that I gave my family last Christmas, and we have used it almost daily, probably daily, throughout 2018. This is an at-home 3D printer. We're able to make all kinds of things on here. We make things for fun. We make gifts. We make school projects. You can pretty much build anything you want from your computer. Now, if you've never used a 3D printer before, I encourage you to check out a YouTube video. They're really cool. And the nice thing about this particular 3D printer is that the price point is much lower than most, but it works incredibly well. I will admit we're kind of a nerd family. We enjoy techie products like this. If you're the same way, I encourage you to look into this more because it's been a great investment for us. Last but not least, I recommend checking out the Bossy Jossy pencils. She has a bunch of different colors of pencils and she can engrave in the side anything you want. Now I'll tell you, we have given these as teacher gifts, as gifts to friends. I use them for business gifts because I can personalize them and that makes a really thoughtful gift. The price point is good and check out all the different options she has. I really like her service and I keep going back to her for more and more gifts. All right, there's a random assortment of my favorite non-crafty things for 2018. I'd love to hear your ideas below. Please check the YouTube description to find links to these products if you're interested in learning more. And I will be back soon with more of my favorite crafty things for 2018. Here in the middle are my other two videos for this series so far. I appreciate you spending the time here. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon.